Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 5. What Goes in Each Bag? The following dialogue is related to Unit 2 Travel from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following unit of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 2.7. What Goes in Each Bag? In this dialogue, after attending a Canadian Orientation Abroad session on how to pack baggage, Obasi goes home and starts packing with his family. Obasi's mother-in-law, Fatima, and 10-year-old daughter, Jasmine, discuss what to pack versus what to leave behind. They also go over what to bring with them in the airplane. Obasi is in his home. He has put his largest piece of baggage on the bed in order to pack. Jasmine? Fatima, please come help me pack. We will be leaving for Canada in a few days. Yay! Remember, we can only pack so much, and there are certain things we cannot bring in our baggage. We can only take what is necessary. Obasi? Yes, Fatima? Did you check with IOM staff to see what the baggage weight and size limits are for our flights? Yes, I did. I wrote them all down. I already checked our suitcases, and they are within the size limits. Oh, good. And when we are packed, I will weigh each bag carefully. But right now, let us start packing. Grandmother, what do you think I should pack? Let us figure this out together. Okay. We need to be careful about what we put in each bag. There are rules about what we can bring in our hand baggage and what needs to go in the check baggage. That is right. Let us start with what we need to bring on the airplane with us. Okay. Put aside some comfortable clothes and shoes to wear on the day of our trip. I was told that it can get a little cold on the airplane, so pack a sweater or jacket in our hand baggage for the trip. Should I wear a sweater? Yes. It will be October when we land in Canada, which means temperatures are cool to cold. We will need to prepare for cold weather. But we do not have any clothes for cold weather. They told us that refugees are given winter clothes when they arrive, either from a government-funded organization or from their sponsors. We are under the government-assisted refugees program. So a government-funded organization will meet us when we get to Canada. They will give us warm clothes. That means we just have to bring an extra layer to keep us warm inside the plane. That is a relief. I will get mittens. We can start with packing our personal items first. I do not have that much to take with me. We can pack electronics like a laptop or camera in this bag, but I do not have those. I guess I do have my mobile phone. I hope it will work in Canada. Do not forget your phone chargers. At the Canadian Orientation Abroad session, they said anything with lithium batteries must be brought with you on the plane. Right. I will keep that in mind. We should also gather our important documents and certificates before we forget. Yes, those are very important. I will gather those now and put them aside. I will make sure that they are with us on the plane and not in the checked baggage. I will also make some photocopies of the documents and put them separately in the checked baggage in case the original documents get lost or damaged. Good idea. Oh, but what about money? Yes, we should put our money aside to bring with us on the plane. According to the Canadian Orientation Abroad Session, there are no restrictions on the amount of money we can bring into Canada. But if we enter Canada with money or monetary instruments worth more than 10,000 Canadian dollars per family group, we must declare them at Canadian Customs. Otherwise, we may need to pay a fine or face other penalties. Does that limit only apply to printed money? 
or other forms too. It applies to money we bring into Canada in the form of cash, money orders, checks, stocks, or transfer of funds between our bank and a Canadian bank. The amount we declare may also affect the level of financial support we receive. I do not think we need to worry about that. We will not be bringing more than 10,000 Canadian dollars with us. I agree, but we need to keep our documents, money and electronics with us when we travel. Right. Those will have to go in our personal items. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to pack baby formula and diapers in personal items too. We have a newborn baby. Let us make sure we have enough baby formula and diapers to get us through the flight. We have to pack a stroller too. Yes, you are right. Let us move to the next baggage, hand baggage. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook says we have to pack jewelry, small amounts of liquids, creams and gels that are less than 100 milliliters each in a clear plastic bag in the hand baggage. 100 milliliters? We have to remember that any liquids, creams, and gels that we take in our hand baggage needs to be under 100 milliliters per bottle. We need to gather up all of those bottles and put them in a clear plastic bag for the security check. Any liquids, creams, or gels that are bigger than 100 milliliters will have to go into our checked baggage. Thank you. I'm so relieved we're packing together. Personal care products, including sanitary pads, hairbrushes, and toothbrushes, need to be packed in the hand baggage. Remember to pack your medications with prescriptions, too. Yes, I will pack those in the hand baggage, too, along with our family photos. But what about our dog? Can we bring him on the plane? No, we cannot bring any animals with us. Our dog will stay here with our friends, who will love him and take care of him. What about stuffed animals? Yes, it is okay to bring some stuffed animals on the plane, but not all of them. Pack only a few of your favorite stuffed animals and toys. Decide which ones you would like to have with you on the plane, and make sure those go into the backpack you will be carrying with you. Maybe a card game and a coloring book for entertainment would be good too, in case the flights are long. Okay. We should also pack a book or a magazine to read on the plane. What time is it, by the way? It is already 7 p.m. Speaking of the time, I will pack my watches in the hand baggage as well. I have to go buy some packaged snacks for us to eat during our trip. We can bring packaged snacks on the plane with us. That is good. The last thing to remember is checked baggage. This will be put in the storage area of the airplane. We have to make sure we pack any books and religious items in the checked baggage, unless they are light enough to carry in our hand baggage. Yes, I have to remember to pack the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. It will be helpful to read over all of these steps once we begin our trip. What about canned food? We can bring canned food, but they can only go in our checked baggage not in our hand baggage. But cans are heavy. Let us make sure they do not make our checked baggage go over the weight limit. I see. Then I will only pack a few cans of food to take with us, and we will eat the rest before we go. What about electronics, like hair dryers? In Canada, we will find some plug adapters. I will also have to check that any electric devices, like electric razors or hair dryers, are compatible with North America's 110 to 120 voltage. In North America, there are two types of plugs. Plug type A is the plug which has two flat parallel pins. Plug type B is the plug which has two flat parallel pins and a grounding pin. If they are not compatible, it would be better to get new devices in Canada instead of trying to find converters. Oh, I forgot to ask. Can I bring my books and toys? You can bring two or three of your favorite books and toys in the checked baggage, but not too many. Books are heavy, and we cannot be over our baggage weight limits. 
We need to pack our clothes and shoes in the checked baggage, too. Okay, I'll choose carefully. Remember, any liquids, creams, or gels that are more than 100 milliliters will have to go into our checked baggage. We can buy bigger bottles of shampoo and lotion once we get to Canada, so we should not worry too much about that. Okay. At the Canadian Orientation Abroad session, they said we can also pack alcohol and cigarettes, but there are limits for different types of alcohol and cigarettes. We do not drink or smoke, so we do not have to worry about that. There are also items that are not allowed. Here, I will look in the Canadian Orientation Abroad participant workbook and check the list of what we can and cannot pack in the checked baggage. What does the list say we cannot bring? Here, let me check. Okay, it says no food, including meat, milk, dairy products, and fruits or vegetables. No plants, soil, or wood. No parts of animals, including skins. No herbs, spices, or seeds. No large electronic devices, like televisions or home appliances. No firearms, ammunition, weapons, or human bones. And no vehicles or drugs. That all makes sense. But how would someone bring a whole car onto an airplane? In a very large piece of baggage. <laughs> 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 what food items can we bring? It says here that packaged food can be brought with us inside the plane and canned food can be packed in the checked baggage. Great. I think I have to go to the store now, so we have packaged snacks to eat on the plane. I remember that we will be given meals on the airplane, too. Good idea. I will keep packing while you are out. We need to make sure our baggage is fully packed before tomorrow. That way, we can weigh all our baggage and make sure they are not too heavy for the airline restrictions tomorrow. Sounds like a good plan. End of Dialogue Unit